Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel, and in this video, as previously promised, I will be going through my Pentagon 2023 Seasons Greetings group order, as well as unboxing this whole thing for anyone who wishes to know what's actually in it. As far as I'm concerned, I'm pretty sure these are sold out from all Korean distributors, but I think American buyers can still get it from sites like SubK and Kpop USA Online. They definitely won't come with a pre-order benefit at that point, but at least you'll still be getting the season's greetings. And this video is mostly just to serve as a, I guess a reference to see if you actually like everything that is included in the season's greetings. So before I actually get started on opening the season's greetings itself, I do want to go over the pre-order benefit. So I ran a group order with the anticipation of receiving and sorting these pre-order benefits. And Pentagon opened three pre-order benefits for the season's greetings. Luckily, they didn't do any fan signs, which is what a lot of groups have been doing recently, but these are all just regular pre-order benefits without any fan sign attached to it. And ordering a set of seven season's greetings gets you seven pre-order benefits, as you see here. I can bring them all in a little closer. That is also out of age order. But here is what they look like. They all came individually sealed. Or individually wrapped, I guess you can say. I ordered for... I think this is QB. And I think the other options were... Apple Music and then With Mew. Last year they did QB and Soundwave and I opened for the Soundwave benefit. When it comes to collecting pre-order benefits for Season's Greetings, this is where it starts to get a little more expensive because the Season's Greeting itself, I think, was $30, and then if I didn't split shipping with a group order, international shipping with a pre-order benefit and Season's Greetings might have been around $30, hence why pre-order benefits tend to be kind of pricey if you try to buy them in the aftermarket. So here is the Season's Greetings unwrapped. It comes in a pretty standard box. I've only ever purchased Season's Greetings from Pentagon and SF9, and SF9 does a box that kind of like opens, so it looks more like a mailer than this thing where it's kind of connected on one side and then it kind of folds open like that. But Pentagon's is pretty classic and it just comes as a regular box. So while I didn't open or I didn't purchase any Season's Greetings for myself personally, I did split an order, so some of these inclusions are going to be going to some G.O. joiners of mine. But until then, I do have the liberty to actually just open everything up. So here are the photo cards. And let me actually put the pre-order benefits behind, and then let's see if we can see if there's any major difference between these. When it comes to pre-order benefits and even album cards, a lot of the times there's not much of a difference depending on when or where they take them. But I guess there is some sort of a difference. I think I might actually like the season's greetings, just photo cards in general, more than the pre-order benefits. Like Yoan's facial expression here is a lot more interesting than the pre-order benefit behind. But I would say that Yuto's pre-order benefit is cuter because at least he's doing a pose. And Kino's one is cuter too, but this is a very clean looking photo card to me. I do like that pose. You only get one set of seven because Hong Sok is enlisted and Yanan is on a hiatus. We also got a decorated... Decorated... Top loader. In terms of like actual top loader strength and usefulness, this does not do anything for me. This almost reminds me more of like those ID holders that people carry around in offices because this is this is basically jelly lake. But it's fine. And this is a keychain.
They advertise this keychain as like a film holder. So I am kind of curious to see if there's actually film in here. And yes, there is. And that is really cute. I do not know how to roll this back in. So I don't want to take all of it out. Okay, either way, I think there's this thing on the bottom that lets you screw it back in. Let me see if it works. Yes, it does. Okay, so there is an item on the bottom that lets you reel the film back in. And I do, I do like this. I think it's cute. It's a nice inclusion. There is also a sticker set. I think this has like three, three sheets of stickers. Okay, two. But they do look like they're the, they're not the transparent kinds. And knowing Pentagon, I'm sure they're the ones who doodled these themselves. I don't use sticker sheets that come with official inclusions if they're from groups that I stand because I know Pentagon released stickers for their Wreath album and SF9 did stickers for their Wave of Nine album. Did not use the stickers for either because I would rather just hoard them. This is a film photo set. Let me open up and see what this is. I feel like these just might be postcards. Oh, these are not. Okay, so these are actual film-like photos. In terms of the texture and material, you can see that they are a little more like a plastic film, so these are definitely PVC. The shape itself is not very standard, so I'm not sure how people will store these. But this is really cute. I think they split it into middle line, into, let's see, young line, and then middle line, and then mayonnaise line or mayonnaise line at the very bottom. Please focus. As you can see, it's mostly been like paper inclusions so far. And that's not necessarily like a bad thing, but to me it just does feel a little cheap, if anything. Like, Season's Greetings themselves, honestly, are not all that expensive because they're, what, 30 maybe $30 after conversion fee? But it's usually the shipping that really kills it for international fans. So in terms of this just being all paper merch, I can't say I'm terribly enthused by that idea. This in here probably is the postcards because I remember them saying something about there being postcard inclusions. Yes. Now these are pretty. I do like the concept for Pentagon. I think it's a very nice kind of, th not throwback, but it's nice seeing them look all bright and young. Even though Changu's hair is a little short here, I don't think I like that hairstyle, but it's fine. The coloring is very pretty. I do very like the bright and vibrant blues that they have. Something that always surprises me about opening Seasons Greetings or opening like any other sort of merch from K-pop companies is how much plastic wrap they use. I'm not complaining because the plastic wrap does protect it in case of there being any like water damage. But it's kind of hard for me to reuse. And here is the diary. Okay, yes. I'm pretty sure I am keeping one diary because I did split up my own Seasons Greetings purchase so I am able to open this fully. I actually have my SF9 diary right next to me because I was writing in it before. Let's see what the size comparison is like. So it looks like the SF9 one is slightly bigger in both height and in terms of like paper content too. Let's do a quick flip through. A lot of empty and usable space, which is kind of the whole purpose of a planner, but it's really just kind of like the monthly stuff. The formatting itself isn't very interesting. I'm not really sure what people use for these pages. Maybe they would do it for like to-do lists and tasks. I do like this graphing paper that they added in the back though, because then it's kind of more like a bullet journal. And then back here we definitely get to the photo book aspect. 
I know I'm talking about SF9 Seasons Greetings a lot, but that's because I have it. That's like the only other group Seasons Greetings that I buy. Oh, pretty sure this is an homage to Hong Sok, who is inactive because of the military. And that's cute. But yes, I'm talking about SF9 Seasons Greetings a lot because, once again, it's the only one that I have and can compare with. Uh, I think that when it comes to the photo book aspect of this, SF9s does come with a actual separate photo book that is just full of concept pictures like this, and SF9 also does dual concepts for their Seasons Greetings. So it feels like, in terms of like value, the SF9 one might be a little more worth it just because it does come with more stuff. Oops. And for the photo car collectors out there, SF9s does come with two sets of photo cars. One of them is a concept photo card set, so I'm not sure if people like those. And it also comes with three regular clear cards that are member specific and completely random. So if people are interested in trading, they can definitely trade for those three random clear cards in order to get their members of choice. But for, SF for Pentagons, I think what you see is what you get for this season's greetings. And right now you see me struggling with the desk calendar. Let me do a quick flip through of this as well. Let me open it this way so at least you can compare both sides. What's stupid about Pentagon Seasons Greetings, and I'm very pretty upset about, is that they delayed pre-orders and the actual releasement slash shipment date of the 2022 Seasons Greetings for early February. And so they said that they were going to start shipping out their Seasons Greetings, you know, in early February. And it is January 23rd right now. And that is when I actually received the season greetings for Pentagon. So this entire January month is basically useless. So in terms of value, like it really doesn't make a difference, but it just kind of feels just not thought out well, if that makes sense. Like if they knew that it was going to be delayed and if they're going to start pre order so late, I'm not sure why they wouldn't just have the season's greetings go until like February when people actually start to refresh their season's greetings. Because if we're not going to receive it until late January, early February, we might as well just not include January. But I digress, I am not a cube executive or director. So we don't know. So this is cute, they definitely included that as like a little reference to Hong Sok. I don't know if Yanan has uh, like a representative animal emoji like this. I know that for Jinho they used a... Okay, I know for Hong, for Hui they use like a Quokka, and for Jinho I'm sure they use like a squirrel, but I didn't get by that season's greeting so I wouldn't be able to tell you. But them not including Yenan is kind of weird, but I guess it makes sense because he is technically on a hiatus and so he's not supposed to be included in official items, like, at all. Just doing a quick flip through of these because whenever I use Seasons Greetings calendars, I never actually look at the other side. Like, I'm so busy just actually using the calendar as it's meant to be. That I never remember that there are actually photos that I'm supposed to be looking at on the other side either. And I think they have the season's greetings organized in age order. So that is everything inside the season's greetings. So you have the desk calendar, the planner, photo, like a regular film photo set, no, a regular photo set, film photos, stickers, a top loader that I wouldn't ever use to actually send anything in because it doesn't do its job as a top loader, it's an actually pretty impressive keychain that I think where is where most of their budget went, and then a set of photo cards. 
So all things considering, it's not bad. It's basically on par with last year's in terms of inclusions. I guess it is... It's nice. I do like the concept. I do really like the brightness, the whole record of view thing that they have going on because, you know, I feel like that's just Pentagon's whole thing. They're, they're just bright boys. Bright, sunny. They love doing their brighter concepts. They like to do cute concepts as of a couple years back. And that is it for the season's greetings. Hopefully this video provides some more insight for what you actually receive and if you're on the fence about buying one of these, you know, you can now actually make a more well-informed decision now that you see everything actually laid out in front of you. For the value, I wouldn't say it's bad, especially if you can join through a group order that makes it a little cheaper. But a lot of this stuff, including like the diary and the calendar, you can really only use for one year. So after that, they're kind of obsolete. So if you're okay with spending money on items that are really only temporary and that you can't really reuse, aside from like the photo set, the film set, the keychain, postcards, photo cards, whatever. If you're okay with that, then I do think that it's a good purchase. And if you like the concept, I would say go ahead. Pentagon's, um... Pentagon's contracts are up at the end of this year, so we don't know what'll happen after that. So I feel like if you want to collect more like OT8 slash OT9 stuff, this is your chance to see them in full group activities, doing things together. So if that is your main motivation, I would say that this is like a pretty fun purchase. But if that's not your priority, and you're just looking at whether or not this is worth the value, I think you could happily skip this. I'm skipping out on the season's reading, I sold off my entire set. So it is honestly up to you and whether or not you can find value in these types of things. But aside from that, I hope you enjoyed seeing my flip through through all the season's readings items and that you can make your own informed decision about whether or not you want to make this purchase for yourself as well. Thank you for watching slash listening, and I hope I can see you next time.